Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We want to address a very vital issue where the European countries are gathering together and they want to ban, ban the burqa. And we know as Muslims the burqa is a sign of Islam. So what should our response be to this? And what kind of arguments do they come out with that we should look at? Are these really arguments that stand or are they just excuses just to ban it? We will go through a few arguments they come out with, starting with the most common one, where they say that the niqab is supposedly uh, a sign of oppression to the Muslim. First of all, this argument is very shallow and very hollow. And you would know why I say this when you look at the st statistics yourselves. I ask you, what is the fastest growing religion in the West today? And you would say Islam. Is it the men or the women that accept Islam more? And you would say the women. So more, more non-Muslim women in the West are accepting Islam. So how can you after that still say that the niqab, the burqa or the hijab, the Islamic way of dressing is oppression? If that was the case, no one would be Muslim in the first place. So this argument is very hollow, as you can see. Another argument they would come out with is that they would say that the veil is a communication barrier. And we would say, yes, of course it is a communication barrier. Because the type of communication they want is a type of flirting, where man and woman will, will just mix together and just have sexual desires. That's all they want. And this is the type of communication that they, they, they're looking for. And in fact, this, this is the whole purpose of the veil in the first place. As Muslims, we don't, we don't, we don't engage in this kind of uh, communication between men and women. Because in fact, this is a root of all other evils related to this, for example rape, fornication or adultery and stuff like that. So the, the, uh, in Islam we, we destroy all evils from the root and the veil is, is killing off that root. So why is it a problem? And in fact, what about all the other communication barriers? People speak on the phone, don't they? So are you going to ban the phone? And look at, have you heard of MSN and Facebook and Bebo? People are crazy about that. They spend so much time, waste so much time on that. Is that no communication barrier? They don't even know who that person is, if he's real or not. Another argument that the non-Muslims would come out with, especially amongst the Christians, is the following. They would say to us, we live in a Christian country, whether it's in Belgium, France or the UK. They would say, this is a Christian country. Why do you want to Islamify it? Why do you want to wear the burqa on the streets for? We say to them, that this is a very hypocritical statement of yours and very um, contradictory because if you ask you how did the mother of Jesus dress did she not dress the way the Muslims dress today did she not even it's even authenticated in history that she even veiled herself the way Muslims veil herself she even secluded herself that's how pious she was if she was alive today are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna say she needs to go to jail as well for wearing uh, for wearing the veil are you going to find her as well? In, indeed, this is a very serious, uh, very serious matter for us, uh, for the Muslims as well as the Christians as well. How can you say such a thing about a Muslim who dresses exactly like the mother of Jesus, whom you love and we love? In fact, Jesus' mother dressed like that because God commanded her to do that. So, indeed, if you go against the command of the burqa, you are going against the command of God, and you are supposed to be someone who loves God. What argument people would try to put forward is that they will say, look, we don't live in the 14th century anymore. We live in the 21st century. Why do you need to wear this burqa for? We would say to that, is that we live in the 21st century. That is why we need to wear the burqa, especially where rape is so widespread and uh, pedophilia is so widespread. We've got drunk people all around the streets. Of course, the Muslims need to dress like this to protect themselves. In mm. fact, the vast majority of the uh, rape victims are people who the woman knows, i.e. a work colleague, or a distant relative, or, 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 or just a friend. So in fact, the burqa, if she is covered, then she, it reduces the chance of her being raped. Is this not a better society that, for, for the woman uh, to live in?